to be us. Let's go, man. The strength of their team was offense, and our defense is locking down. All right, hey everybody, welcome back to the Georgia Tech Dynasty. John Eads back with you, coming off a tough loss to Texas A&M, our first loss of the season. And as y'all can see, we dropped from number one in the country to number 13. So running out of time here, we have two games left in the regular season. Our goal this year was to make the playoffs, and we've got some work to do. We got to beat Ole Miss. We got to beat the rest of the teams we're playing. Try to go on a run and get back in, uh, you know, relevancy. I'm kind of surprised we dropped so many spots. I mean, it was a, it was a loss to a team that's not great, but you know, I mean, teams are gonna lose once in a while. We definitely didn't play our best game. Like and subscribe. Check that out. I've said this before. No more recruiting episodes this year because our class is all filled out. We actually oversigned by one for now in our class. So those are done. And uh, without further ado, we'll preview this game, get into the episode, try to beat Ole Miss, and get back on the right track. All right, quick update on award watch. So, uh, our finalists, we have Michael Huggins in the lead for the Lombardi Trophy. He's had a really good season, came back, could have gone pro last year, and has 15 TFLs and 7 sacks. Also, Nick Bates in the top three for both the Remington and the Outland. He's had an excellent season at center for this offensive line. Much improved from last year. Here are the sliders we play on. Might change them up a little bit next year because it's getting a little... Uh, some of these are getting a little ridiculous. The break tackle and uh, running back ability, stuff like that. But uh, tough sliders. We get great games. Usually competitive. Sometimes we lose too, so I suggest you use them. All right, looking at Ole Miss, they got an impact quarterback, dual threat guy, so he looks pretty solid. Running backs aren't very fast, but, you know, good enough to be dangerous. Receivers, decently fast, got some great length, 6'1", 6'6", but nobody that's too scary. Fine tight ends, offensive line looks solid, their center is injured. So, yeah, pretty much 80s across the board. Not, you know, too good, but not terrible either. Defensive line is mid. Good D tackles, though, so good on the inside. Meh on the outside. Same story for the linebackers. Kind of good on the inside, not great on the outside. Corners, low overall, but got some good raw abilities and uh, some decent safeties there. So, Again, like other SEC teams, really solid. Got some talent sprinkled around, but, you know, don't scare me too much here. Strength of this Ole Miss team seems to be the offense, 32nd in the country. Defense kind of in the bottom third, but they are tough against the run. So, going to have to shut down their offense. Our defense struggled a lot against Texas A&M. Let's see if we can keep that uh, momentum going on offense, but not play the way we did last game with a lot of passing, playing from behind. We want to control the tempo, run the football. Let's see if we can get back to the way we play games in this one. What a dime! Woohoo! Tucker? Yes, sir. Oh, don't fumble. Ooh, wee. Get there. Yeah! That's a great drive right there, folks. Gotcha, bitch. Nice tackle. Let's go, Rodgers. Got him. Yeah. Oh. Let's go. Got him. Go, Sean. K. 
catch and run, baby. All the way. You got to stop blitzing. It's not going to end well for you today. Stop. Two stops, man. That's the defense I know. Whoa. Man, we are absolutely dominating their defensive line right now. They want no part of this O-line. These guys don't even want to be here right now. This is a dominant performance right here. Come down, ball! <laughs> Damn, what a play! Get there. Great job! Man, our best half of ball, I think, all season. Got him. Let's go, Sean. There's a hole. Get there, boy. Touchdown. Woohoo! 28 nothing at the half. Domination. No, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Let's go! Gotta be us! Let's go, man! The strength of their team was offense, and our defense is locking down. Wide freaking open. I thought they were supposed to have a good run defense. It is garbage. Gotcha, bitch! This team is so trash. It's supposed to go left. Cut it all the way back. He is balling today. Let's go, Tucker. Yeah, we balled out on these boys. Straight domination all game. Uh, they had some BS score there at the end, but quarter one to quarter four, there was no question who the better team was today. Really happy with the offense. Edwards, one stupid interception at the end there doesn't really count for me, but efficient today, 9 of 13. Josh Tucker's the star, though. 17 takes, 165, three touchdowns, three of 20 plus, about 10 per carry. He was unreal today, as was Sean Brown. He's been on a tear lately. Four catches, 122 yards, a touchdown, average of 31. He's really come on strong force. Defense was phenomenal. A lot of tackles spread out everywhere. All these TFLs, man, we were in the backfield against the run nonstop. And we got two sacks, Cody Washington, Anthony McKinney. A couple swats as well. All around, super happy with the defense. The guys just flew to the ball every time there was a play. I thought McCutcheon did great on the punt returns as well. About 18 per touch and gave us great field position. Team stats, I mean, it, the scoreboard does not reflect, nor do these stats, how big of a blowout this was. Uh, we took the foot off the gas in the second half, but so efficient today, man. I, they didn't stop us once for the most part. Five of six on third down. 
Uh, red zone, we scored every time. That one stupid turnover, uh, irrelevant to the end. I was just trying to milk the clock out. Uh, we shut them down, man. They could not run the football. Didn't really pass the ball all that efficiently. Got stops on third down, too. So, overall, just a pure dominant performance. Our best game of the year, I would say, and at a great time. Just want to say, with this win here, we clinched the SEC West Division. We're going to the SEC Championship game in our second year in the conference. 10-1, 8-1. Ole Miss 6 and 5, 6 and 3. Nobody else can make it from the West. Who will we play? I think probably Tennessee last I checked. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be Tennessee. So, Tennessee, Georgia Tech, your SEC championship coming up here in a couple weeks. Let's go. That's a great accomplishment for the program. All right, so great bounce back win, much needed. Uh, laid an egg against Texas AM, but we came back home, and I mean, there was no doubt after that opening drive what the final score was going to be. It was pick a number, pick a number, and it was just, we could have won 70 to nothing. But when we're up big in the second half, we run the clock because we don't need to sit here and get style points. We know we're good. And uh, we just came in and took care of business. So we got our last game of the season next. It's against Georgia. And uh, it's going to be a rivalry game, obviously. So, uh, you know, we lost to them last time. So tempers will be flaring. It's a game we got to have. We're trying to make the playoff, man. We're not just playing to go 11-1, make the championship, the SEC championship. We're trying to make the championship, the playoffs. So we got work to do. We're going to continue to hammer it, knock it out, and work our way towards our goals. Like the video. Sub to the channel. Appreciate y'all watching. Big W. We'll see y'all in the SEC championship game. But let's go beat the dogs first. Thanks for watching. Peace.